and I have the great honor of being the borough president of Queens. We, uh, we are just so honored to be up here in Long Island City on this rooftop celebrating our great borough of Queens. And we want to thank city and state Andrew Holt. Andrew Holt, say a, a wave. We all wake up with city and state, right? Every morning we all lean over and grab our Blackberries or our iPods or iPads and we read city and state. And we are so glad that city and state has come to Queens to do this great magazine on our great borough. And let me introduce some of the elected officials who work day and night for the leadership of this borough. The greatest district attorney in the city of New York, Judge Richard Brown is with us tonight. <laughs> Senator Toby Stavisky is here with us this evening. Assemblyman Mar uh, David Weprin is here and council member Jimmy Van Bramer, whose district we are in, is here tonight. Queens is designated the number one destination of choice in the entire United States of America. That did not happen by accident. It happened because we bring folks from all over the world. We hail from over 120 countries right here in the borough of Queens. We speak over 130 languages in our school system. And every single person who comes from this country, to this country, brings their culture, their arts, their trades, their religion, their parents' traditions, and we come here and we celebrate it. People fight their entire lives just to educate their children where we are standing here today. And that is something to be celebrated every single day in the borough of Queens. But we can't sustain that without making sure folks come here, without making sure that they get at the J John F. Kennedy Airport, they see that New York State Pavilion, they spend two hours on the Van Wick trying to get to Manhattan watching the New York State Pavilion. And we wanna make sure that wherever they go from JFK, wherever they go from LaGuardia, they know there's a reason to come back to the borough of Queens, see our culture, see our traditions, and spend their money right here in this great borough. And city and state is helping us do that by this great magazine that will be published, by all of the media, by the way, that's in this room. We are sending our message out every day that we are formidable, come see our culture, come see our arts, come see 120 countries in two days, because we got it all right here in the borough of Queens. So I want to thank everyone for being here this evening. I also want to introduce everyone to the Deputy Borough President, Melva Miller. You know, let me try that again. Deputy Borough President, Melva Miller. I'm going to have to stop bringing you places. <laughs> She uh, is truly dedicated to the economic development of this great borough. I am so happy with the turnout tonight. All of you have invested so much of your family, your time, your leadership to making sure that Queens grows. And the rest of the world is seeing it. The rest of the world is seeing the fruits of all of our labor. And as tourism grows, as media continues to pay attention to Queens, as families come here to educate their children from throughout the world, we will continue to grow. And as we grow, we need to make sure of one thing, that if it is good for families, it's good. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs>